Hello again and welcome to the Master's Voice. I am Celestial and you are welcome to this channel. To old and new subscribers, you are very welcome. And so I am continuing with updating the prophetic words that have been moved to different platforms so that there can be um, more information given more freely. And this is a link to a third video that many of you may not be aware of. Um, God is speaking about several things, including the scorched earth policy in this prophecy. But I think that one thing I would like to say, since this is just going to be a short video to direct you to where you can find the video is the Lord is highlighting the need for believers to be aware of spiritual warfare. If you're not aware of spiritual warfare, if you're not aware of what spiritual warfare is, if you don't know how to pray in that way, you're going to find it very difficult because of the kind of attacks, because of the kind of outright, um, hits that the devil is going to be bringing against individuals, against families, against nations, and basically against the whole world. So spiritual warfare is not a part of personal prayer per se, where you're just praying and, and working on your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. That's not what spiritual warfare is. Spiritual warfare is a branch of prayer, a very important branch of prayer where the believer knows certain things and is able to stand in those things and work in those things and command in the heavenly realms and here on earth so that the push of the enemy can be resisted successfully. Many of us, we suffer hits from the devil. We suffer sudden attacks from the enemy, the arrow that flies by day, the pestilence that stalketh the darkness, the sudden calamity that strikes at noonday. These things are spoken about in Psalm 91. These things come suddenly to the believer. They come suddenly to the unbeliever. The Bible says that time and time and circumstance or time and chance happen to us all. And so it's not by physical strength and it's not by head knowledge of the scripture that you will be able to turn back an attack from Satan. The right attack from Satan at the wrong time for you can take your life. You can lose your life before the time carelessly, simply because either you're not wearing the full armor of God, or you're not walking in the authority as a child of God. We have been given spiritual authority as the children of God, but many of us are still hesitant in our Christianity. We do not know what our identity is. We do not know the weapons of our warfare that are not carnal, but are mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds. We do not know that we are wrestling not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities and spiritual rulers of darkness. All of this is not poetic language. This is actually telling the Christian that we are soldiers that are meant to be constantly alert and constantly engaged in an ongoing battle. That battle is raging in the heavenly places and it is being mirrored down here on earth. And so if you do not have this understanding, and yet you've come to a channel that is telling you that we have entered the time period and we are in the season where there is going to be physical manifestation of things that up to now have not have had physical bodies. So demons do not manifest physically, but you have come to the channel where the Lord God is revealing here that spiritual entities are going to be now coming out of the ether, so to speak. They're going to be coming out physically visible to your natural eyes. And this is all part of what Jesus was saying in, I think it's Luke chapter 21, where he was saying men's hearts failing them for the things that are coming upon the earth. When you hear coming upon the earth, he's not talking about them landing at LaGuardia and JFK by airplane. They are going to be coming out of the unseen dimensions that they have already inhabited. They have inhabited for as long as mankind has been here. They have been here before mankind has been here. Some of them, the fallen ones, but others of them have come after the rise of man. And there is a great 
push back from the satanic realm, the demonic realm against the occupancy of man. And why is this? It is not even all man that they are pushing back again against. They're specifically pushing back against the church of Jesus Christ. The Lord says, I will build upon this rock. I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. When you hear that something will not prevail against it, that tells you that there's going to be an interaction of force, but one side will not be able to beat the other. So the church has the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, but to a great extent, the church does not know how to use this authority. The church is not aware of how to pray with the blood of Jesus. The church is not aware of how to pray with the fire of the Holy Spirit, is not aware of how to seal up their homes, how to seal up their children in the blood of Jesus and protect them with um, the use of anointing oil, for instance. So many of us, we just live in these homes that are wide open. And even though here's the ironic part, we take the time to seal up our homes. So we lock up the garage to protect the cars and we lock the doors to protect the TV and the money and the other things, the other valuables that are in the house, but this mortal coil, the physical body, as well as the soul and spirit, we do not know how to adequately protect these things. We don't know how to protect our bodies. We don't know how to protect the bodies of our wives, of our children. And therefore, for the most part, a lot of Christians are very easy targets for the things that God is warning about. And so in the link that is below, the Lord will be talking about um, something very painful and how people lose their children. And he said that this particular syndrome, this particular attack on babies is going to increase and continue because for the most part, people do not know how to protect their infants spiritually. So they make sure that the temperature in the room is fine and they make sure that they're feeding the baby the right thing. But in terms of protecting the baby's soul, the baby's essence, the baby's life, um, from being stolen by spiritual entities. The Lord said that many parents do not know how to do this. And so this particular syndrome that is spoken about in the video, the Lord said that it will increase, but I'm here to tell you that it does not have to increase. If you tighten your belt spiritually, if you put on the whole armor of God, and if you get serious with protecting your family, the Lord also shared in that prophecy that a lot of people are going to become exposed to demonic realm, which means that you're actually going to start seeing spiritual entities, as I just said, because you're engaged in sin, because you're engaged in an immoral lifestyle, because you're pushing the boundaries of the hedge of protection that God gives us as his people these things are going to easily break through the hedge and manifest. The Lord said that people will have heart attacks and fainting, mental disorders and mind schisms, which is basically when your mind just cracks and breaks because of a traumatic experience that you've been through. In that video, we're also going to talk about the increase of domestic terror incidents. So be sure to watch the video. The Lord said that something like 9-11 is going to come to the United States of America, something that devastating, something that big. And after that, America is going to get a great reset. She's going to get something introduced in the way of identification. Something brand new is going to be introduced in the way of a new form of registry in the United States and not a single person is going to escape being on that registry. It is going to be totalitarian. It is going to be all encompassing. You're basically not going to be able to live here without having it. It doesn't matter if you're here for six months on a missionary journey. It doesn't matter if you're here for three years as a student during a, doing a BSc. It doesn't matter if you work with these international organizations and you're actually from Europe or from Africa or from Asia and you're only here for a set period of time, as long as you live on U.S. soil, you will be required to get this new form of identification. And the Lord said that this event will change the face of America forever. And then of course, scorched earth policy. Again, the Lord continues to talk about the scorched earth policy and how people will will greatly harm themselves if they continue to participate in, in scorched earth. And so the link is below. 
I am Celestial, and this is the master's voice. If you are a new subscriber to this channel, the best way that you can make use of this channel is by looking at the playlists here on YouTube. I have a medical playlist. I have a political playlist. I have a sin playlist. I have a Russia and China playlist. It is very important that you bring yourself up to speed because if you're just finding this channel, I have to tell you, you're already behind the blog and the prophetic words of the master's voice, who is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. He is the master. Those prophecies date all the way back from 2012. So if you're just finding this blog in the last few weeks or even the last few months, you have a lot of catching up to do. There's three years worth of work on the blog and there's over a year's worth of videos here on the channel. And so it is in your best interest to use the playlists to catch up. These words can easily be listened to as you work, as long as your heart is open to hear what the Lord Jesus Christ is teaching. Because I have to tell you the times that we are going into, it's been on my heart for the last few days and I'm just going to say it. The times that we are going into is almost going to be a kind of every man for himself, purge anarchy kind of life. So all this stuff that we've been used to congregating as a church, coming together as a body, if you have a problem, there are people that you can talk to about it and everybody's going to gather around you and lay hands on you and pray for you. And they're just going to fight that devil with you. There's going to be nothing like that in the future times. We're going to have very, very small and tightly knit bands of people. And I'm not saying that this is going to happen tomorrow, but the Lord has clearly shown me in years and years, of dreams and visions that this is going to take place. And for you to be able to exist at that level, your, your faith is going to need to be strengthened so, so, so much, so much than where it may be today. So there, there are Christians who are watching this and these are people who probably have in the spirit 17 swords on their back and they have been um, zealous for the Lord, their God, and they have been growing their faith. They've been praying, they've been fasting, they've been reading the word for 10, 15 years and hiding the word of God in their heart. And so spiritually, when you see these people, they're wearing like 15 layers of armor. They have 17 swords on their back and they are ready to go. And then there are people who are coming into the kingdom for the first time. You've been living your life, however you've been living it. And now is the time that the Lord Jesus has gotten a hold of your heart. And if you are in a church that is just telling you things like, oh, you know, Jesus loves you and God is really ready to work with you and he loves you just as you are, I'm going to exhort you to come up in the spirit, to come up in the spirit very much higher and to not allow those types of churches to set the bar for you. God does love you, but he does not love you as you are. If you've just come out of the world, you have come with a ton of what we call spiritual baggage. You've come with habits, you've come with addictions, you've come with... Um, secret sins that you don't want anyone to know about. Um, you've come with issues, you've come with heartbrokenness and all those things will weaken you in the practice of true Christianity. And so the Lord loves you definitely, but he does not love you in the state that you are. He is going to make a new man of you. He is going to tear and break and pummel until the old casing that has surrounded you from your worldly life cracks and falls away to reveal what is known as the new man. Man. And the new man is the one who's going to start building up his faith, building up his strength in the spiritual gym until he becomes strong enough to be like the first people I talked about who have the swords on their back and they have their armor on, they have their helmet of salvation on. The belt of truth is firmly girded around their waist. If the things that I'm saying to you makes no sense, that means that you haven't even read your Bible to the level where you know what I'm talking about, which is that Christians are expected by scripture and this is hardly ever preached today to be soldiers that are in readiness position at all times. And so the Lord will work with you, but I encourage you not to allow fluff, not to allow the gospel of fluff and the gospel of sugar, which are two of America's greatest gospels at the moment. I encourage you not to let that be the benchmark that you have. And then we have those that are somewhere in the middle. You're somewhere along the, the spectrum. You're building yourself up in your most holy faith, but you're still struggling with things like being able to fast and being able to pray in tongues and being able to intercede and actually see the the manifestation of 
things happen. So you pray and then nothing happens. It's not because the prayer is ineffective. It's because there is not enough spiritual power in you yet to cause the walls and the obstacles that you are trying to hit to break. And so in a gym, you can see that the people who get there newly can only hold the little dumbbells and then other people can hold bigger ones and other people are bench pressing serious weight. And then there are other monster people that can just carry a lot. Believe me, no matter where you fall in the spectrum, the Lord Jesus Christ has a role and a work for you. And he is still going to build you up from that level to something even stronger. But if you are not aware that we are in times that are going to put a great demand on your faith. And when I say great, I am not kidding. You are going to need to live by your faith. We all know the scripture, the just shall live by his faith. Just understand, as I've said that scripture on screen many times, the operative word in that sentence is not just. The operative word in that sentence is live. We will come to a place where we will literally die or live by the available faith that we have. And so let us remain open to the spirit of God to work on us and to grow us. And let us hear what the Lord is saying in these prophetic words without fear and without trembling. Let us be less interested in when do you think this is going to happen? And when do you think that will take place? And let us be more interested in Lord, how can I live a submitted and repented life before you so that power is endued into me regularly? How do I strengthen my temple with prayer and fasting? How do I strengthen my temple with intercessory prayer? What is intercessory prayer and how do I indulge in it to become stronger as the days, weeks, and months go on so that my faith doesn't crumble when I come up against occultism and witchcraft and other spiritual things that I've never experienced before? That is a better use of time. So when you come to this channel, you will hear the truth of God. This is not a place where I can teach you how to do these things. This is a prophetic channel where I'm bringing forth the real time prophetic words of the Lord. And yet there is a vast array of this information on the internet. I just said to someone today, if there is a spiritual topic that you do not understand, It is not wise to go and start watching a multiplicity of YouTube videos and reading a lot of articles about it because at its core, every good teaching focuses on the scripture itself. And so the best thing for you is to become acclimatized with scripture. And so if you want to understand a topic like spiritual warfare, you want to understand a topic like intercessory prayer, you want to understand more about fasting. What you do is you simply go to Google and then you put in scriptures for fasting teachings about fasting. And then what Google will throw at you is a lot of Bible verses. And then it's your job to have the notebook, to have the pen, to take down those notations of the scriptures, and then go to different places where they show you intercessory prayer taking place in the Bible, like Moses interceding for Israel every time they irritated the Lord and the Lord was going to destroy them and Moses would stand up and intercede for them. When you read the scripture, you are actually eating the meat and the bread and even for the younger ones in Christianity, the milk of the word, and you get that direct feeding into the spirit and that is how you grow. And so please check the description box and you'll see the last video that I made about what causes harm and about spiritual warfare and about how, because the sin is increasing so much among humanity that God says that the demons are going to be empowered by the rise of sin. If you did not know that the rise of sin strengthens Satan, Satan will one day be strengthened so much by human sin that he will actually be able to take physical form and be here among us as the dragon. And so That is all for now. This is Celestial with the Master's Voice. Thank you for tuning in. 
I would like to say thank you to everyone who supports this channel. I used to give individual written thank yous, but that is no longer possible because of my work schedule and because there are more people. And so I always want to say that your donations are appreciated and I pray for everyone who comes to this channel. I am praying for the strengthening of your soul. I am praying so that you will not lose it in the final times. I am praying so that you can understand that the transformation of faith does not come by the moving of your mouth by what you say, but actually the changes that take place in the heart after you study the scriptures and pray them back to the father so that you can receive from him the grace and the spiritual empowerment that builds up a real soldier in Christ. And so thank you always for supporting this channel. Please like the videos, please share them. Please keep coming back, subscribe so that you can get notifications. If you have not been getting notifications from the channel, it is best to unsubscribe and then hit the button and then hit it again until the bell has these little side dimples on them. And that means that you're fully subscribed and fully notified. If you are not getting subscribe, um, notifications from the master's voice blog itself, go to the mastersvoice.com. The information is in the description below. Put in your email on the follow plus box, or you can follow with your WordPress blog, and then you'll get a notification every time I upload a new post. These are serious times. I'm handling serious matters. It is up to each heart that hears the word of the Lord, if they will receive it or not. I've always said, this is not a convince me channel. I'm not here to win you over. The truth is supposed to do that. And at this stage, at this late stage in the game, if we do not have the discernment to understand when truth is being spoken, then we will simply reap the consequences of our choices. And that's, that's the only way that I can put it. So I am celestial. This is the master's voice. Thank you for tuning in. I will be back with new videos. I have received quite a few prophecies from the Lord and until I see you again, God bless you and goodbye.